But now, apparently, there is a new way of doing all this, and here it is. It's the ENV, or the ENVY. It's um, an electric motorbike. This electric motorcycle has its own onboard electricity generating station in the form of a hydrogen fuel cell in here. And in very, very basic terms, it mixes the fuel on board the bike, hydrogen, with oxygen, which is in the atmosphere, in the fuel cell to make electricity on demand for the electric motor down there, and it drives the wheel in the conventional manner. I'm going to take this for a spin, but first, I need some friends. Because motorcyclists are pack animals and require a leader, electric or not. Gentlemen, start your engines. While they're making lots of noise, I'm not even sure mine's going. It's less, it makes less noise than the wind. This is biking, but not as we know it. For a start, there's no reassuring throb between my legs. With my mates well ahead of me, I'm a lone wolf, as if born to be mild. Two wheels, the open road, but only eight horsepower. I sort of like it, though. It's quite serene. It's quite spaceshipy. The great thing about the fuel cell is that it never runs down. As long as you keep feeding it with hydrogen, it will keep making electricity pretty much forever. But that does lead to a problem, because so far there is no hydrogen infrastructure to speak of. All of this stuff and all of these pumps is completely useless to me. But having said all that, there is something that this fuel cell can be used for, and it's something you can't do with the engine of a normal motorcycle. Have a look at this. That, that pod is a self-contained electricity generating station. You can slot it into this bike, you can slot it into a specially designed car. I could even take it home and use it to power my toaster. Even the legendary Honda Cub can't do that. <laughs> 